Ahmed Baikan Yazisioglu was an Ottoman author most noted for the cosmography titled Er I Menun, the authorship of which is usually attributed to him. Biography Little is known of Yazisioglu's life. His earliest biography was written by Mustafa Ali. Yazisioglu came from a literary family. His father Saleh Yazisai, who moved to Geli Bolu before Ahmed was born, and Ahmed's older brother Mehmed Yazisioglu were writers before him and are both still well known. Ahmed Baikan Yazisioglu and his brother were pupils of Hasi Bayrami Veli who founded the Bayrami Order. They considered it their dervish duty to spread knowledge among the common people. To accomplish this, they wrote in the language of their people, which was Turkish. Ahmed Baikan translated and compiled literature using original works from the then-dominant scholarly language of Arabic. This religious act of translation has preserved important works for later generations and has caused him to become considered one of the most important figures of Ottoman culture. Besides translations, he also wrote some original works of his own. The famous legend about the founding of Istanbul can be traced back to his Der Imenun. Yazisioglu was highly productive as a writer and transcribed a number of popular religious and encyclopedic works. His best-known books today are the religious work in Varul, Asakan and the Der Imenun. He was probably able to accomplish these works by his religious lifestyle. His nickname, Baikan, is a term that means the lifeless, which refers to his ascetic dervish lifestyle. He was an advocate of religious fasting and foregoing sleep. The Der Imenon approaches the world from the creation according to cosmographic tradition. Details about the heavenly bodies are followed by tales of ancient peoples, prophecies and divine punishments, discourses on stones, images, medicinal plants, mythical creatures, faraway countries, seas and islands with their bizarre inhabitants such as the Cynocephaly. The author concludes with a chapter about the terrors that await us at the end of the world, including the Islamic Antichrist, the Dajjal, works, in Varul, Asakan, Der Imenun, Akaribu al-Malukat, Kitabu, el Muntia al Mustaharela, el Fusis, Bostanu, el Harkaik, Sevahir name, Ravu, el Erva. Der Imenon A remarkable passage in the Der Imenon is Yazisioglu's fulminating against the deer and spring worshipping by Ottomans, a heathen cult within the empire. Another important passage in this book is a tale about Kenan, one of the sons of NUH. Kenan refuses to join his father in the Ark, and hopes to survive the Great Flood in a kind of diving bell that he devises himself. God punishes him for his disobedience with a supernatural bladder infection and Kenan drowns in his urine inside his own contraption. Legend of the Foundation of Constantinople The version of the legend of the town's foundation as Ottomans and Turks know it was coined by Ahmed, by Khan. According to this tale, Janko bin Majin decided to build the city on the wedge-shaped plot of land triangled between two sea arms to make sure building activities would commence under an auspicious constellation. His astronomers devised a system of poles with bells and cords attached to them, to set the army of diggers, masons etc., to work at the same right time. Alas, man proposes, God disposes, a snake snatched by a local stork curled itself around the bird's neck, thus causing it to fall out of the sky, against one of the bells, thereby setting on the entire enterprise in the most ominous of hours, that of the planet Mars. Inevitably, the future of the city was to be rife with earthquakes, war and plagues. This legend, partly a clever reworking of already existing elements in Byzantine tales and of Muslim views on Constantinople reaching from the imperial to the apocalyptic, deeply influenced Ottoman sentiments and literature on this topic. The grave monuments in Geli Bolu for Ahmed and Mehmed are tourist attractions.